Right, hello and welcome to the world of Elite Dangerous. Hello and how you doing? This is Mars making an emergency how to mine platinum video. I was on vacation with the wife and kids when I got a call from a personal assistant out here on Pimp Mining Corp that they were actually miners in my mining spot here using the pulse wave analyzer to hunt for platinum. That is a no-no. I don't know how other people do it, but I have mined billions. Of, I don't know everything about this game. I've been playing this game for three years, and yeah, there's plenty I don't know about this game. Nobody knows everything about everything. But there's two things I do know about. PvP and engineering PvP ships, and mining. That has been my chief source of income for the last three years. A deep core mine, void opals, Alexandrite, Mozite, a deep core mine, seven billion dollars worth of credits in an anaconda. And I have been laser mining platinum and low temperature diamonds for almost two years. And I have never used a pulse wave analyzer for the platinum or the diamonds. It's an enormous waste of time. God knows how many 50% rocks you flew by because your pulse wave analyzer didn't show them. But I'm going to show you the right way today. Okay, I don't know who stuck me with 347 limpets, but they are fired. Somebody's losing their job. These people know they're supposed to stock my ship with 500 limpets minimum every day. You just can't find good help these days, boy. I'm gonna go with about 525, yeah. That'll work. Take as many limpets as you can. If you have a ship that holds 100, 150 cargo space, or 50, you take 50 limpets. If you got 100, take 100. You can always spit out a few limpets. Now this little system here is my own private little system. So you can either come to this spot or you can find your own and the way you do that is very simple. You go to bodies right here at eddb.io and what you want is pristine reserves. That is very important. Pristine reserves and metallic. That is where you find platinum. Okay. Simply go to find bodies and it will spit you out a huge list of systems with pristine reserves and you can pretty much just pick whichever one's closest to you go out there with your jump ship and a surface scanner pop the ring any random little platinum hotspot will work okay as long as it has pristine reserves way back in the day about a year and a half ago people was just killing them on void opals were going for 1.6 million so, Elite Dangerous, of course, or FDEV or whoever, in their infant wisdom decided, well, we just we'll have to nerf that. They're making too much money. So they cut the prices of Void Opals in half, pretty much. And they also nerfed low temperature diamonds. And they did it galaxy wide. So, any random platinum hotspot, because that's one thing they didn't do, is they did not touch platinum. So any random platinum hotspot with pristine reserves is far better than any triple overlapping low temperature diamond hotspot with depleted reserves. Or that has 5,000 people mining it out there every day because the percentages <coughs> excuse me, of mineable rocks is going to be lower and the percentage of material in the rocks is going to be lower. So yeah, you do not need overlapping hotspots, triple, double, whatever. That's all overkill. All you need is a simple random platinum hotspot with pristine reserves and you're good to go. It's as simple as that. I'm going to show you right here. This little system that I got going on right here. This is my own little private spot. Well, I call it private, but <laughs> there's not too many fleet carriers parked out here. But This is HR8514. And this tiny little planet here this is HR85145. And it's got a few little tiny platinum hotspots. 
This is pretty much where I live. Okay? I've been mining this spot for like two months or something, I don't know. But the most important thing is if you notice, over here on your galaxy map, it's got metallic ring, rocky ring. But that it has, over on the left, pristine reserves. Okay? That's much more important than any triple low temperature diamond overlapping hot spot and people going there mapping the, uh, the rings. It's just total overkill and total waste of time. You don't have to do none of that. Simply drop into this little hot spot and start shooting some prospectors out and you're going to make money. A lot of money. You're going to consistently hit 30%ers, 40%ers, 50%ers. You'll be flying with 15%, 18%. You won't even be paying no attention to that. You guys can come here if you want, or you can check the eddb.io and find your own little hideaway system. But this is my little favorite spot. Not too many people here, and I can consistently do 500 tons or over, you know, in a couple of hours, every day, or whenever I need to. There's two little platinum hot spots side by side. right there and then one there kind of in the middle yeah that one that's the one I land in every time I haven't even dropped into the other ones I'm going to speed this up a little bit for you guys here wow it looks like I come in way too fast on that that's okay. too busy running my mouth I'm going to drop in slower than that that's okay get on up here I can start like right where the spot is. I mean, it really don't matter though. But it's just my personal little choice. The easiest way to do your fire groups is keep your prospector on one, your mining lasers and collectors on the same, on the other one. Together. That way you don't have to stop mining to shoot out more collectors when they die because like, collectors are going to die. They run into asteroids, they run out of time. Let's go ahead and shoot a prospector out right here. Keep your mining lasers and your pro, uh, collectors on one, right or left. And keep prospectors on the other one, right or left. Now we'll never have to switch. Let's go ahead and get the night vision on. And start shooting out prospectors. That's all you do. Shoot out four at a time, or two at a time, whatever prospect you can have. Accuracy through volume. Think about it, if you could shoot out 100 uh, prospectors and hit 100 different rocks all at once, your odds of finding a mineable rock would be higher, right? So don't do one at a time, unless you're sitting there waiting on your collectors. Shoot out four. Look on your contacts panel, scroll through them. You're going to have a winner sooner or later. And probably sooner than later. See what we got here. Go to contacts panel. Scroll on through. Okay, that one's got nothing. Samarium going on. All right, 35%. That's not bad. 8%. That's an insult. I need to slow down for that. And that's got nothing. So, one rock at 35%. We'll take it. You can get one mineable rock above 20% for every four limpets you shoot out. You're doing good. That's perfectly fine. I was hitting, I did 560 tons yesterday and I, I started with 500 limpets. 560 tons, I still had like 10 limpets left over. So that's well over a ton of platinum for every limpet I shot out. You're not gonna find those kind of averages in any triple overlapping low temperature diamonds hotspot. Okay, that's all overkill. This is how we want to hit it. We're going to shoot down toward the bottom of the asteroid. Even though this one was hardly even moving, it really wouldn't matter where you hit this one. I always like to try to blow the fragments down. Because your limpets are going to be underneath you anyway working. Blow the fragments down. Keep your limpets away from the rock. I want to blow the fragments in it down, you know, shoot down and keep your fragments low because that way you keep your limpets working like in a nice little circular pattern. 
go out, they grab the fragments, they look back in, they got to come from underneath anyway. You shoot up at the top and your limpets have to go up to get the fragments and come back down and all it's just not very efficient. And I could get a little bit closer. But whenever possible, this is the kind of little loop system you want going on. Shoot down, get them looping around nice and quick, quiet and easy. And just rake it in. All right. Moving right along. That one's got nothing. That one's depleted. 8% is an insult. What's that last one got? I guess we ain't worried about the last one. Okay, so. Oh, I've already got one on that one. Okay. Back in the general direction of my planet. Shoot some more prospectors out. There's another little meatball. I'm gonna turn my belly toward the my other little prospectors that I got left. I still got prospectors bringing in. I mean, our collectors bringing in a few. So ideally, you want to have your next rock ready to go before your collectors even get finished bringing them in. 11% that's an insult. 12% is an insult. Let's see, that's the 11 percenter. That's not the other one. That one's got nothing. Alright, 50%. One 50% rock out of four. I'll take that all day long. Get up on it, start flying up on it already. Try to pick out where you want to hit it. Where is it moving the least? Actually, I need to be a little bit over there on the left-hand side and flattened out more, but it's spinning so slow, it's not really going to matter much. All right. Let the old limpets catch up. Do your work, buddies. Speed this up a little bit. Got here. Keep them prospectors flying. Where well, you're always doing something. Asteroid scan complete. Oh yeah, we definitely want to shoot that tater tot. Did I already get that one? That one's got nothing. That one's got nothing. But you know what? We're okay with that. We don't care. Let's go back over these. Yeah, well, that's why we got 500. Let's hit my trigger, shoot out another one real quick. While we're waiting, we're waiting for our Olympus to finish up. Looking for another prospecting target. Move we'll away a little bit. Spit out another collector. There's a meatball. We got it going on. Anything? That's like a three kilometer long. Sixteen percent platinum. Mm. Go ahead and mine it anyway. Normally well, I wouldn't even I would scoff at nineteen percent or eighteen percent coronavirus going on. Or I did. And there it goes, Junior. 
I still have limpets coming in from the back, collecting fragments from the other one while I'm mining this one. That's what you want. That's what's sweet about these 1D mining lasers. Uh, modified, extended range. I mentioned something about them on Discord the other day, and of course some German dude who thinks he knows everything had to had to comment and say, well, your limpets can't even reach that far. What is the point of having mining lasers that reach 2,500 meters when your limpets can't even reach that far? It's a waste of time. This is the point. So I still have limpets bringing in stuff from the back. I'm mining this one way over here, and my limpets are going for these fragments. You know, you can as long as you can mine the frag, the fragments aren't going anywhere. Keep those limpets working. That's, that's the point. I'm gonna shoot this one because it just happens to be here. There's nothing worse than somebody who don't know what they're talking about, thinking they know everything. I don't know what's going on with that. Seems to be a common thing. So 11 percent. I ought to hit it. It's right there too. I will speed this up for you guys a little bit. Let's see. Nothing. Doop -a -doo -doo -doo. Doop -a -doo 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 -doo. Put in a meatball. Nothing. I'll see them go. Moving right along. I like this one shaped like a little tomahawk, too. Maybe we got something. Mm -hmm. Shoot them on out. That guy's four, I think, right? All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see. 31%. That'll work. Nothing. 10%. Insult. 32. We got two 32s. All right. is right here once again demonstrating the effectiveness of the 1d modified mining laser Olympus is still working over there on the one on the left bringing in stuff and guess what we're doing we're mining the next rock from half a mile away well, they'll still doing their thing over here on the left increasing our efficiency Staying busy. And they're working away. And there goes Junior. Oh, he's going after it. Check that out, Mr. Your limpets can't even reach that far. You know who you are. I guess I could go ahead and get a little closer. Once they get done with the one in the back, the previous, you can go ahead and Hit a little, hit the gas a little bit. Close the distance so they ain't got to travel so far. And that's how you stay busy. That's how you stay working. How you stay raking it in. You don't want to be flying around with them limpets trailing behind you. If you can't avoid it. And that's basically it, guys. Forget about the pulse wave analyzer that is for detecting deep cores void opals mosinite alexandrite just come out here at a random platinum hot spot with pristine reserves start shooting you some prospectors out and you will consistently hit 30 40 50 percent or even some 60s and you will make hundreds of millions of credits a day and that's all you need prospectors collectors and you're good to go of course you need your if you, oh, and if you need some uh, info on how to get the 1D mining lasers, if you're interested, the bonafides, let me know in the comments or just hit me up on Discord. And I'll tell you everything I can about them. And good luck with that. Go out and make you some money, fellas. And I'm out of here. <laughs>